Well, Alison. Right on cue. It's almost as if he knew that was coming, Richard Boxall. Second shot for Scribner. I really want him to finish with a three and a four. Well, he's going to have a chance. I wouldn't be counting on carrying that bunker. He doesn't want to carve it because it's pretty hard to avoid the one down the right if you ride the breeze from left to right. It's where he was yesterday. Now he's visited that right bunker a couple of times this week, I believe. That's going to stick to the short grass. Perfect spot. And Rory McIlroy, day two, Allison, hit it way down there to 100 yards short of the flag. And the left rough today, over that bunker 308, forget that with Rory McIlroy. The left rough is a good spot. Set. Set. No trouble with the sand, but we'll just sacrifice a little bit of control on the next. Chris Paisley, this to finish at minus 10, which would be in a tie for seventh. Yes, well done. Good finish. Good back nine. He did drop a shot on the 17th, but a couple of... foul no that all gets very expensive you know he's in tied second spot now you've got to take your time and make sure you commit put a decent stroke on it you never know what it'll count for at the end of the end of the season there they are yeah that one as well but he needs something here to happen it's a nasty pin at the back but he's got to go at it now needs some birdies He's going to have about 20. 137, just with a wedge. He can batten down the hatches now and bail out a little left if he chooses to. I was looking back on, uh, on Tyrrell's form, and you know what? He had the wrist surgery, you know, this time last year, and everyone looks at him. There'll be no backing off now. The lie is good. And to his credit, he's found that narrow gap between the pin and the bunker, but just about equidistant. May well be McElroy to go first. Such an intelligent shot once again from Hatton. Had he played at the flag, he would. 562 yards. Oh, top tracer following the flight of that ball that needs to do something special stay don't go behind that rock oh that is very fortunate and exhale a good putt that was hit it too hard rich and across the green is tommy fleetwood and he's going to charge he needs these to drop well the question begs who's going to start applying some pressure rory's just straightened at the hole then even though he got it all wrong pace-wise, so he had it through the break. This is straight up the hill. Looks good. That'll do it. It's a very dangerous hill out of the way. 14. Oh, that hurt. 
that's on the last hole, the position he's in. Driver for Fleetwood. He didn't carry the corner yesterday, so he really needs to hook this one. Get some flight, get some height. That's a wonderful tee shot. Just about as much as he could cut off that dog leg from right to left. Slap bang in the middle of the fairway. A true testament to playing within himself there. Must make putt for Rory, and he does. Well done. He's been working on trying to pick up a bit of extra speed, but at loss sometimes of accuracy, we know that drill. Well, he hasn't found the fair bit. It's the wrong angle to come in from, but really from where he was. Same club nine iron, but it's only a smooth one. Yeah, that's okay. You really feel at 13 under that uh, he'll have a little, he'll have an eye full of that in a minute when he walks up on the on the green. So he'd be edgy, nervous right now. Stay there. Yes, well done. Some players say they don't look at uh, scoreboards. I'm not sure I believe all of them. Oh, no, I don't. I can't believe that. Can you? You want to know what you've got to do and what you, you know, what you can't do. Another perfect drive for Fleetwood. Just needs to feed this one in from left to right. From bang on 180. As the wind just picks up again. And because of that, no real stop on the second bounce. Just blew the ball down. So I'm chipping back in. It's another beautifully struck butt. Taking no chances. Getting up the stone dead. Another hole passes him by. Another hole out of the way. He's one of those players in a, in a final round that he just seems to play his own game so well, you know, write his own story. Uh, he's been obviously watching and playing alongside Rory McElroy today, but just is through. You always feel with him if you know if he could get if he could get one, you think, well, there's only three in it now. <laughs> Third shot of the 16th for Tommy Fleetwood. Ali, you've produced some great players down there in Australia down the years, and certainly the biggest moment in this man's career right now. He fits the mould, I have to say. Gorgeous golf swing. This for a final flourish. What a round from Jason Scrivener. What a back nine. Take a look at that. 29 shots. His average earnings uh, around 17,000. If things stay the way. For Fleetwood. Driver here at 17. Back into the brief. Really picking up anymore. Yeah. Nice wide fairway. Perfect tee shot, that. Coming straight down Breeze. Easy to bail out, but not the way he's setting up. Flag all the way back left. The angle's bad, but it's doable. And he's feeling it. Absolutely no idea. Just can't see it, looking straight into the sun and the western sky. But when he gets the news of where it's finished, he'll be thrilled. 
think he just took the bullet there. Just a wedge for one three one. It's been a see one hundred eighty two here. So it's fine back right pin. That is a longer edition of the T-shirts we saw earlier in the round at the first and fifth. It's been a great sporting week in Abu Dhabi. And there's the majestic cricket ground.